YouTube, YouTube, what it do, what it do. I'm back. Check it out, man. So, as you see, title, uh, the reason why you're here uh, is I'm doing a final review for Instacart. Uh, I know when I first started the journey with Instacart a couple weeks ago, I said that I was going to be following along the journey, uh, you know, all the way until whenever. Um, but I want to let you all know the reason why I'm stopping today <laughs> um, and, and doing a final review is I'm about to explain why in the video. So welcome. It's the Instacart final review. And if you see a rag in, inside this uh, this video, it's because it's hot as a motherfucker out this though. It's, it's 90 some degrees in Florida, man. But anyway, let's move on. Instacart final review. So check it out. In the Instacart final review, um, I will say this. Um, just like I said from day one, um, I actually like doing the job. Um, you know, grocery shopping and delivering to somebody is, to me, one of the easiest things that you can do as far as be your own boss platform. It's a lot better than Lyft, Uber, Uber because you don't have 50 billion people in your car. So your car stays clean, stays smelling good. You don't have to worry about drunk people, no throwing up, no nothing like that, like with Lyft or Uber. But you will have to work. I mean, grocery shopping is, can be a task, and some people, you know, everybody has different taste buds, so we don't eat the same thing. Uh, what that means, some people eat natural, some people eat healthy, some people, you know, and it's a lot of different products that they have for everything. So, you have to know what you're looking for. Uh, your, your timing has to be, you have to be fast because you probably got less than an hour once you got to that, you might have an hour once you get to the grocery store, but you don't want to spend it all your time because that includes your time that you got to deliver to the person so for instance say if somebody you got a batch which is a customer lead say you got a batch at eight o'clock that you had to have it delivered by well you're not going to wait till eight o'clock to actually go grocery shopping obviously you will start at seven o'clock probably an hour before they don't want you to go too much more earlier than that because they want the you know groceries to stay fresh especially if they got cold products dairy all that kind of stuff so, you go to the grocery store at 7 o'clock. You want to be at that checkout line by 7.30 because you got 30 minutes to deliver wherever you're going. And this is going to vary, obviously, depending upon what city you stay in. And, and, and my city, we're a mid-sized city, so we, we have, it takes no, no more than 30 minutes to go anywhere in our zone. So, um, that gives you a good time. You got to be out there by 7.30, though, but... Uh, honestly, you want to get out there moving a little quicker, especially during 5 o'clock traffic, different things like that. So you have those kind of things to worry about. But like I said, it's, it's, it's an easy job. Um, here, I don't know if they're doing it everywhere, but here, uh, maybe, I don't know if it's because they just started here or whatever, but they they were doing a, a hourly guarantee versus commission. If some of you all that do Instacart, if you all still get hourly guarantee versus commission, let me know if that's just how the company is set up or you know what I'm saying? If that's just some promotion thing that they're doing here. But long story short, I'm no longer with Instacart. Um, the past couple of weeks, um, I haven't actually worked since the first day that y'all saw me do that that video. Um, that's why I haven't done video by Instacart. I haven't been working. I've been trying to get back on. Long story short, I had a driver license issue, which was negated by child support. I took care of that, paid that, and, and, and let, me, let me let you know. I'm not, I don't get behind on child support or nothing like that. I pay my bills every month. But for some odd reason, this county came up and said I had an a, a outstanding warrant for a $500 amount from back in 2013. Well, why y'all ain't fucking told me? I, I've been going, coming up to this courtroom forever since I've been paying. I, listen, I'm a faithful child, so child support payer since 2013. Every month, I have paperwork and all that to prove that. But... For some odd reason, this $500 is on slip pass. Anyway, I had to take care of that. That was causing my possible driver license to get suspended on the 30th. It never happened, though. Instacart, dumbass, fucking put, put my account deactivated after they found out. And my, my driver license wasn't even suspended yet. Like, mind you, I'm doing this video on Memorial Day weekend, which is the 27th. And... My, my license wasn't due to be suspended to the 30th. Two weeks ago, they done deactivated my page right after I started the first day. I don't know what the fuck they got going on, but they are too sensitive and too they got too much going on for me. So I'm actually, it's kind of blessing in a way. 
Uh, the good thing is I still got two other, you know, platforms that I do, so whatever. But at the end of the day, yeah, that, that, to me, that was the most stupidest shit. When, you, when the background check came back, it said, oh, we just looking at basically like violent shit and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, okay, well, I'm still good. It's just a child support issue. Really? Y'all deactivate my page because I had a child support issue that I had to make a $500 payment that was due by 30th. And that was it. Driver license place, clear my clear my driver license. I'm good to go. I even proved all this to them. Shoot, shot them an email. I had to shoot them an email like five times before somebody responded back to me. I mean, I I, I just feel like they kind of jinky in some ways. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know if they just starting up or whatever the case may be. Um, but I, I know they're all across the coast, across the world a little bit. But I mean, across the country, excuse me. But I don't know. They just kind of janky to me, man. Um, Lyft and Uber never had a problem with those people, and that's what I'm saying. Like they never, they never contacted me talking about, oh, your license about to get suspended, so we about to suspend you. Like, okay, y'all deactivate my page before the date even happened, and, and it was cleared way before the date even came up. But they still sent me an email after five emails later yesterday talking about. Uh, oh, we decided to, to move on from your candidacy. What, what the fuck you talking about? I was already working. Like, what the hell? I, but anyway, I said, you know what? I'm a firm believer. You know what I'm saying? And how being above. So I put it all there with him. I said, I don't even care. I got two other platforms. I'm good. And maybe you got something else planned for me that I have no idea. Maybe you might, you might want me to start my own. I don't know. But we're going to find out. But that's all I want to say about this Instacart thing, man. My final review has went from an A to I'm gonna give them a C. You know, even though even though I'm not working with them and all that, I, I gave them a C because this shit kind of janky to me, man. What they got going on, I just don't understand that. How you let uh, deactivate somebody's page that just had a child support issue and the date hadn't even came? I, I don't get it. The other platforms didn't do that. So what makes your platform so fucking fruitful that you know what I'm saying? Just crazy, man. But long story short, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm no longer with them, but I gave them a C because if you're looking to get the job or whatever, if you want to work for Instacart, it is a great job as far as grocery shopping and all that. Hopefully you don't have no problems like I did. That's all I can say, man. But uh, in my next uh, video, man, I'm about to vlog all weekend, man. It's Memorial Day weekend, so get ready for a Memorial Day weekend vlog. Be around the house a little bit, and I'm probably step out and go to the beach, man. But y'all, y'all get ready for that. In the meantime... Instacart, hollow, versatile network, out.